Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to Chapel. I'm Joe Sutton. The Charles Dickens classic Oliver Twist opened this last weekend, and it was a hit with the audience. The actors gave enthusiastic performances with everything from song and dance and chore choreographed fight scenes. Eagle 7 caught up with star Marissa Jacobus to get her take on the performances. So I get to do a lot of singing and acting and dancing, and it's a lot of different fight scenes and running around and just I like the physicalness of the show. It's been so fun and I I'm ready to do more shows. There are only two shows left tonight and tomorrow and tickets are going fast. Be sure to reserve your seat today at the ticket office. As the fall seasons come to a close one team continues to stand out. The Northwestern volleyball team is dominating the UMAC conference. I sat down with the freshman volleyball player to get more details on the game plan behind the winning season. With great coaching and an abundance of talent, there's no stopping the Lady Eagles. The University of Northwestern volleyball team has had a lot of success over the years. We caught up with freshman Jackie Foster to ask her her opinion on what it means to be an Eagle. We really focus on um, putting the team above ourselves, especially when we're out there playing. Um, that's been our theme this year is team above self and um, really just focusing on winning being the second thing that we're worrying about. And the first thing is really just loving each other on the court and being a witness to everybody else that's watching. The Eagles volleyball team has been truly resilient being able to pull off wins even after a loss. Typically, we try to have only encouraging words out on the court, um, words that build each other up. That's really our focus right now. Um, if you get a point, obviously we're celebrating, and if we didn't get the point, we just think about getting the next point um, and winning on our side. As the year comes to a close, the underclassmen are already looking for ways to improve for next season. For Eagle 7 News, this is Brennan Scarborough. The Lady Eagles will be playing tomorrow at Erickson Center at 7 o'clock against the University of Minnesota Morris. Get your purple and gold ready and help cheer the volleyball team to another conference championship. Back to you, Joe. Thanks, Brennan. College students love free food. Trust me, I would know. That's why Akinson Dorms hosted Eggs and Baconson to invite students to check out the new building. Eagle 7's Hannah Swanson was ready and on for bacon. My name's Hannah Swanson with Eagle 7 News, reporting from Baconson. We've got breakfast food, we've got cereal, we got banana bread, we got bacon and eggs. It's the Ron Swanson dream. Let's see what's happening up in here. I'm here with Brett Olson, the RA. How do you think Baconson's going? I think it's going really well. We had a lot of uh, participation and a lot of people showed up and a lot of great food. To all the people that made it, you're awesome. I'm here with Isaac, and I'm going to taste test your bagels while you tell me what your favorite thing is about Baconson. All right. Well, uh, you know, my roommate's actually not in tonight, so I haven't been around. I was around for a little bit just looking at everyone and everything, and it's looking great. I'm going to have to get out there later and get some of that food. Right on, sunshine. What's your, what's your favorite breakfast food? Bacon, for sure. Bacon? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm all about the sausage. <laughs> I'm with Corbin. I'm all about that sausage. And I'm all about that bass. Brett, how does it feel to be the DJ here for Baconson? Oh, it's pretty awesome, you know. Just got to have fun. From Eagle 7 News, I'm Hannah Swanson. Well, obviously it was good because Hannah didn't bring back any bacon for the rest of us. But on to other news. The weather has taken a turn for the worst this week, but... I've been praying for sunshine. Hannah, can you give us just a little taste of what we should be expecting in these next coming days? Well, Joe, it ain't pretty. It's time to say goodbye to the gorgeous fall weather and get back to the good old cold Minnesota. Today, it's going to be 50 and rainy, so make sure you get your rain jacket and poncho, stay warm, stay dry. Um, for the rest of the week, it looks like it's going to be 38 degrees on Saturday, which is hunting season opener. So for all you hunters out there looking to shoot that 30 point buck, make sure you stay warm and stay cozy. Sunday 38, Monday 31, Tuesday 30, Wednesday is going to be 32 and 29. Make sure you stay warm when the snow comes. Back to you, Joe. Definitely not looking forward to the snow, but 
we don't have a choice. The temperature is dropping and we're starting to see a lot of people wearing scarves. However, one girl has decided to use her scarves for a different purpose and has inspired students across campus to do the same. A story of beauty and bravery. It's been a really great experience. Where one girl has stepped out of her insecurities. This time I decided that I was going to be bold about it. And embraced the person that she is. <laughs> Katie started losing her hair in middle school, but it became worse this past May. When she was three, she was diagnosed with alopecia, a condition where the immune system attacks the hair follicles. The rapid hair loss resulted in her wearing wigs, which took a toll on her self-image. When I had it in high school and had to wear wigs, I was really ashamed of it. But this time, I knew that I could either um, have that same shame that I had the last time or I could change it and be bold and just tell everyone and have it just be something that is a part of me and that I'm open to talking about. And now she's doing just that. She created a Facebook page called Show Me Your Scarf to raise awareness and empower women to embrace their beauty by wearing a headscarf for one day out of the week. I think that it makes people realize kind of like a day in my shoes. Wearing a scarf can be a challenge, but an encouraging amount of Northwestern women have been willing to try. What Katie started as a Facebook page has now created a campus-wide awareness and now more students than she ever imagined have been involved in this movement. So many people have come up to me and told me like, wow, like you've been an inspiration to me. And though Katie has received attention for her impact, she has expressed great humility. That's the point. They don't, it's not that they should know who I am, but just the fact that more people are understanding what it is and that it's something that can happen is the best part. <laughs> for Katie and Eagle 7, I'm Ashley Arneson. Wow. Katie, thank you for being bold and sharing your story with us. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week. Be sure to check us out on YouTube and Twitter. I'm Joe Sutton, and have a great weekend, and don't forget, stay fly.